Hello everyone, I'm Splinter Cell God. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Last time, we went inside of a capsule. Now we are hooked up to Nick Valentine's memory bank. Therefore in his head. So it's like Inception. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. Hmm. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. Oh, boy. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like hmm. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. Huh. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. This is so weird. So you're just following like this trail. <coughs> oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Shoot. Well, I have to admit, it does look pretty. Very pretty. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after <coughs> that you really understand mm -hmm. that's what happiness felt like. It's good. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Hmm. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It'll be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter. No, I, I never deserved her. Hmm. Not for one second. A good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Ooh. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well for a while. 
they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Oh. I promise. I get it. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. We'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Hmm. So far, very interesting um, story that Nick Valentine has. Sorry, not Nick Valentine, Kellogg. I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you hmm. know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. That was so weird. That guy completely probably losing his mind. And this is the guy I killed. Mind if we? There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I hmm. always got paid in the end. <coughs> One way or another. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Did you sell? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. So the family that they're talking about is probably my family, my wife and my kid. Because he was the one that said he got paid to go and kidnap my son and put him into the um, the institute. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Yeah, the scar. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It mm. was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. So you heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured... They were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. Hmm. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. 
suited me just fine. Oh, you're with the first sense weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Hmm. But the Institute could always make more. We kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Institute. First sense weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. We kept making them better each time. They still give me the creep. I wanted to first sense weren't all that impressed. See for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Whoa. Wow. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. Huh. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of green. <coughs> ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Uh oh, look. Here we go. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done. They came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither hmm. did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. They needed me. I made sure they knew it. The eggheads never liked taking orders from that. All computers are still working. That's good. Hmm. Checking through the log. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Hopefully it's all just... I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest... Find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. Yeah, there's me. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Just gonna save it here really quickly? I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Oh, the kid he couldn't afford. Yeah, I'm a cold hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Oh. This is the one. Here. 
Open it. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. <coughs> I got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. Please, we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence. Reinitialize. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yep. Looks like he did kill my wife. So I'm not fugitive. Is that your son? This whole setup in Diamond this City was part of some elaborate plan hmm. of the old man's. Good news, I think. Hmm. Seems obvious now that we. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Hmm. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It would be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Whoa. Whoa. Some of them did. But the Corsairs, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Hmm. Smarter, <coughs> stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. It's okay. One of these days, you're going to get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Oh. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. Hmm. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Whoa, he just teleported. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. 
Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Whoa. Bye. Damn. Teleportation. Huh. Do I make sense? Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. Hmm. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Wow. Whoa. That was cool. Oh, hey, Viper. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. Hmm. How does it work? Where do we go next? Hmm. That yeah. scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. Uh-huh. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. Huh. He's waiting for you upstairs. Cool. Am I really stealing this, or am I just taking it? Oh, sweet. It looks like it says steal, but I think it just highlights it for a split second. So I'm not really stealing it, I'm just taking it. Right? You know, I don't know. Anyway, that's all we got time for this episode, so thank you very much for watching. And I will see all of you in the next video. Take care. If you're watching the live stream, don't worry about it.